Loading Dose Calculations. In this example, a 60-year-old woman is in the emergency room with supraventricular tachycardia. We want to give her a loading dose of the drug Esmolol. Esmolol is a beta adrenoceptor antagonist. It works by blocking beta-1 adrenoceptors in the heart to decrease heart rate and conduction velocity. Esmolol is a short-acting beta blocker, which is useful in emergency situations. We want to get her to a target plasma concentration of 150 micrograms per liter. She weighs 90 kilograms, so what loading dose should we use? We can calculate this using the formula LD equals CP times VD. Here, CP is the desired plasma concentration of the drug, and VD is its volume of distribution. We already know the desired plasma concentration is 150 mcg per liter, but what is an mcg? 1 mcg, or 1 microgram, is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 6 grams, or 0 0.001 milligrams. So, 150 micrograms per liter is equal to 150 times 10 to the minus 6 grams per liter, or 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4 grams per liter. Next, we can look up the volume of distribution for esmolol. It's 3.4 liters per kilogram. So for our 90 kilogram patient, our volume of distribution is 3.4 liters per kilogram times 90 kilograms. And that equals 306 liters, or 3.06 times 10 to the 2 liters. Now we'll plug into our formula. CP is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4 grams per liter, and VD is 3.06 times 10 to the 2 liter. Cancel units and end up with 4.5 times 10 to the minus 2 grams, or 45 times 10 to the minus 3 grams, which equals 45 milligrams. So our loading dose is 45 milligrams. Now let's do an example where we calculate a maintenance dose. In this example, we have a 25-year-old man who weighs 100 kilograms. We want to calculate a maintenance dose of the anti-seizure drug carbamazepine to produce a blood level of 6.0 milligrams per liter. The drug will be given three times a day by mouth. This is the formula that we will use to calculate maintenance dose. Where CP is the desired plasma concentration, CL is the clearance of the drug, tau is the dosing interval that will be used, and F is the oral bioavailability of the drug. So again, here's our equation for maintenance dose, and we know our target plasma concentration and dosing interval. Then we can look up the oral bioavailability of carbamazepine, and we find that it's 0.7, or 70%. Now we can use this equation to calculate clearance, where clearance is the drug's volume of distribution times its elimination rate constant. Then we can look up the volume of distribution for carbamazepine, and it's 1.4 liters per kilogram. So we can calculate it for a 100 kilogram man, and we come up with 140 liters as the volume of distribution for this man. Next, we calculate the elimination rate constant, which is defined as 0.693 over the half-life, which we can look up for carbamazepine and plug in, and we get 0.0461 over hours. Now we have everything we need to plug back into the equation to calculate clearance in this man. So now we plug into our equation for clearance with a volume of distribution of 140 liters and an elimination rate constant of 0 0.0461 over hours, and we get a clearance of 6.47 liters per hour in this man. And now let's plug back into our equation for maintenance dose calculation. 
we know our target plasma concentration is 6.0 milligrams per liter. We've calculated our clearance as 6.47 liters per hour. And we know our dosing interval is 8 hours. And we've looked up the oral bioavailability. And that's 0 0.7. Canceling out like units, we end up with 443 milligrams as the dose to be given three times a day. Tablets of carbamazepine come in 200 milligram doses. So taking two 200 milligram tablets three times a day would give approximately the target plasma concentration in this man. To summarize, Loading dose is defined as the product of the target plasma drug concentration and the volume of distribution of the drug in that particular individual, divided by the bioavailability of the drug for that route of administration. Maintenance dose is the product of the target plasma concentration multiplied by the clearance of the drug in that individual multiplied by the desired dosing interval, all divided by the bioavailability of the drug for that particular route of administration. Clearance is just the volume of distribution multiplied by the elimination rate constant, and the elimination rate constant is just 0.693 divided by the half-life of the drug.